Ankle, Wikipedia article audio. The ankle, or the talocrural region, is the region where the foot and the leg meet. The ankle includes three joints, the ankle joint proper or talocrural joint, the subtalar joint, and the inferior tibia fibular joint. The movements produced at this joint are dorsiflexion and plantar flexion of the foot. In common usage, the term ankle refers exclusively to the ankle region. In medical terminology, ankle can refer broadly to the region or specifically to the talocrural joint. The main bones of the ankle region are the talus, and the tibia and fibula. The talocrural joint is a synovial hinge joint that connects the distal ends of the tibia and fibula in the lower limb with the proximal end of the talus. The articulation between the tibia and the talus bears more weight than that between the smaller fibula and the talus. Structure Region As a region, the ankle is found at the junction of the leg and the foot. It extends downwards from the narrowest point of the lower leg and includes the parts of the foot closer to the body to the heel and upper surface of the foot, 768. The talocrural joint is the only mortise and tenon joint in the human body. 1418 The term likening the skeletal structure to the woodworking joint of the same name. The bony architecture of the ankle consists of three bones, the tibia, the fibula, and the talus. The articular surface of the tibia may be referred to as the plafond. The medial malleolus is a bony process extending distally off the medial tibia. The distalmost aspect of the fibula is called the lateral malleolus. Together, the malleoli, along with their supporting ligaments, stabilize the talus underneath the tibia. Because the motion of the subtalar joint provides a significant contribution to positioning the foot, some authors will describe it as the lower ankle joint, and call the talocrural joint the upper ankle joint. The bony arch formed by the tibial plafond and the two malleoli is referred to as the ankle mortise. The mortise is a rectangular socket. The ankle is composed of three joints, the talocrural joint, the subtalar joint, and the inferior tibia fibular joint. The joint surface of all bones in the ankle are covered with articular cartilage. The distances between the bones in the ankle are as follows. Ankle joint Decreased distances indicate osteoarthritis. The ankle joint is bound by the strong deltoid ligament and three lateral ligaments, the anterior talofibular ligament, the posterior talofibular ligament, and the calcanofibular ligament. Ligaments Though it does not span the ankle joint itself, the syndesmotic ligament makes an important contribution to the stability of the ankle. This ligament spans the syndesmosis i.e. the articulation between the medial aspect of the distal fibula and the lateral aspect of the distal tibia. An isolated injury to this ligament is often called a high ankle sprain. The bony architecture of the ankle joint is most stable in dorsiflexion. Thus, a sprained ankle is more likely to occur when the ankle is plantar flexed, as ligamentous support is more important in this position. The classic ankle sprain involves the anterior talofibular ligament, which is also the most commonly injured ligament during inversion sprains. Another ligament that can be injured in a severe ankle sprain is the calcanofibular ligament. A number of tendons pass through the ankle region. Bands of connective tissue called retinacula allow the tendons to exert force across the angle between the leg and foot without lifting away from the angle, a process called bowstringing. Retinacula, tendons, and their synovial sheaths, vessels, and nerves. 
Mechanoreceptors of the ankle send proprioceptive sensory input to the central nervous system. Muscle spindles are thought to be the main type of mechanoreceptor responsible for proprioceptive attributes from the ankle. The muscle spindle gives feedback to the CNS system on the current length of the muscle it innervates and to any change in length that occurs. Mechanoreceptors it was hypothesized that muscle spindle feedback from the ankle dorsiflexors played the most substantial role in proprioception relative to other muscular receptors that cross at the ankle joint. However, due to the multiplanar range of motion at the ankle joint there is not one group of muscles that is responsible for this. This helps to explain the relationship between the ankle and balance. Function In 2011, a relationship between proprioception of the ankle and balance performance was seen in the CNS. This was done by using a fMRI machine in order to see the changes in brain activity when the receptors of the ankle are stimulated. This implicates the ankle directly with the ability to balance. Further research is needed in order to see to what extent does the ankle affect balance. Historically, the role of the ankle in locomotion has been discussed by Aristotle and Leonardo da Vinci. There is no question that ankle push-off is a significant force in human gait, but how much energy is used in leg swing as opposed to advancing the whole body center of mass is not clear. Clinical Significance Of all major joints, the ankle is the most commonly injured. If the outside surface of the foot is twisted under the leg during weight-bearing, the lateral ligament, especially the anterior talofibular portion, is subject to tearing as it is weaker than the medial ligament and it resists inward rotation of the talocrural joint, 825. Symptoms of an ankle fracture can be similar to those of ankle sprains, though typically they are often more severe by comparison. It is exceedingly rare for the ankle joint to dislocate in the presence of ligamentous injury alone. The talus is most commonly fractured by two methods. The first is hyperdorsiflexion, where the neck of the talus is forced against the tibia and fractures. The second is jumping from a height, the body is fractured as the talus transmits the force from the foot to the lower limb bones. In the setting of an ankle fracture the talus can become unstable and subluxate or dislocate. People may complain of ecchymosis, or there may be an abnormal position, abnormal motion, or lack of motion. Diagnosis is typically by X-ray. Treatment is either via surgery or casting depending on the fracture types. The initial evaluation of suspected ankle pathology is usually by radiograph, with the three major anatomic landmarks for ligamentous injury. The first is the tibia fibular clear space, the horizontal distance from the lateral border of the posterior tibial malleolus to the medial border of the fibula with greater than 5 mm being abnormal. The second is tibia fibular overlap, the horizontal distance between the medial border of the fibula and the lateral border of the anterior tibial prominence, with less than 10 mm being abnormal. The final measurement is the medial clear space, the distance between the lateral aspect of the medial malleolus and the medial border of the talus at the level of the Taylor dome with a measurement greater than 4 mm being abnormal. Loss of any of these normal anatomic spaces can indirectly reflect ligamentous injury or occult fracture, and can be followed by MRI or CT. Traumatic injury The word ankle or ankle is common, in various forms, to Germanic languages, probably connected in origin with the Latin angulus, or Greek alpha gamma kappa upsilon lambda omicron, meaning bent. Fractures 
it has been suggested that dexterous control of toes has been lost in favor of a more precise voluntary control of the ankle joint. Talus, medial malleolus, 1.70 plus or minus 0.13 mm, talus, tibial plafond, 2.04 plus or minus 0.29 mm, talus, lateral malleolus, 2.13 plus or minus 0.20 mm. Media related to ankles at Wikimedia Commons. Dorsum of foot. Ankle joint. Deep dissection. The deltoid ligament supports the medial side of the joint, and is attached at the medial malleolus of the tibia and connect in four places to the Taylor shelf of the calcaneus, calcanean avicular ligament, the navicular tuber rosity, and to the medial surface of the talus. The anterior and posterior talofibular ligaments support the lateral side of the joint from the lateral malleolus of the fibula to the dorsal and ventral ends of the talus. The calcanofibular ligament is attached at the lateral malleolus and to the lateral surface of the calcaneus. Dorsum of foot. Ankle joint. Deep dissection. Imaging. History Other Animals Evolution Ankle Joint Deep Dissection Anterior View The superior extensor retinaculum of foot extends between the anterior surfaces of the tibia and fibula near their lower ends. It contains the anterior tibial artery and vein and the tendons of the tibialis anterior muscle within its tendon sheath and the unsheathed tendons of extensor hall uci's longus and extensor digitorum longus muscles. The deep peroneal nerve passes under the retinaculum while the superficial peroneal nerve is outside of it. The inferior extensor retinaculum of foot is a Y-shaped structure. Its lateral attachment is on the calcaneus, and the band is travels towards the anterior tibia where it is attaches and blends with the superior extensor retinaculum. Along that course, the band divides and another segment attaches to the plantar aponeurosis. The tendons which pass through the superior extensor retinaculum are all sheathed along their paths through the inferior extensor retinaculum and the tendon of the fibularis tertius muscle is also contained within the retinaculum, the flexor retinaculum of foot extends from the medial malleolus to the medical process of the calcaneus, and the full wing structures in order from medial to lateral, the tendon of the tibialis posterior muscle, the tendon of the flexor digitorum longus muscle, the posterior tibial artery and vein, the tibial nerve, and the tendon of the flexor hall uci's longus muscle, fibular retinacula, superior fibular retinaculum, inferior fibular retinaculum, 14189. Dorsum of foot, ankle joint, deep dissection foot, leg. Footnotes Additional images